Okay, what were we doing? Oh right, we are fixing our suicidal shelf. Perfect. I brought one pair of overalls. They fit a little bit better pre-hot tamales and Whoppers night. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna sweat liquid hot tamales during this gym session. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I regret my decisions from last night and try to go up to Glacier National Park, but everything in the van is breaking. I eat moldy yogurt, and then we're on our way to Glacier. Subscribe for daily videos. Oh, good morning. What happened here? Whatever is this? We did movie night last night. At least we tried to on the live stream. I'm not in my van. I fell asleep on the couch because I was in a sugar coma. I haven't had candy. I've had like dark chocolate. That's not like candy candy in so long. I had a full three and a half hours of Titanic last night and I ate all this candy, all of it, every single piece. I ate most of this sharing size bag of popcorn and my tummy wants to kill me this morning. Hashtag worth it, right? <laughs> Not worth it. Maybe in my 20s, but in your 30s, it's not worth it, guys. It's not. All right, well, we're driving up to Glacier today. I might stop and do some chair picking along the way, but this is the state of my vehicle right now. I'm dropping this off in Livingston, and it is so messy back there. I don't wanna do it, but I have to go clean it because everything's gonna fall all over the place. Oh, my fridge stopped charging. That's cute. Oh no. How long has it not been charging? Oh, that's not good. I've booby trapped myself in my van. I can't, I can't get to my bed. This goes here. This is gonna spill everywhere. Cute. This goes over there. Please go over there. Oh my God. There's my floor. Shit, I don't know how long that's been off for. All my groceries are gonna be ruined. I just went and got groceries yesterday for my big trip. I have little chocolates in there and they're melted. It was super hot in here. Farts. Every time I don't sleep in my van, I'm like cursed because last time I didn't sleep in my van, uh, my skylight blew up and it rained all inside my van all night. Maybe we need to go to the grocery store on the way. I don't know. Maybe I need to meditate. This morning is not starting off the perp. <laughs> fridge stay plugged in so annoying Does someone know a solution to this because if you barely touch this cable or if you go over a bump my fridge turns off and then you just barely push it in and now my fridge is on i don't know if it's this cable or the jackery that's the issue but i know all my groceries are ruined this morning okay van life all right you win this one mayday Mayday. See how this is angled? I don't know if you can really tell from the camera, but something happened here where we are no longer on our little supports. Oh, here's one on the ground. That's neat. Um, I'm gonna have to take everything out of here real quick and reassemble. Ooh, girl. I don't want to. I just want to go to Glacier National Park. I don't want to deal with this this morning. Look at it. It's like... I have to deal with this. This is gonna be a disaster. Usually I start my morning off with meditation and exercise and a beautiful view. It's all the Skinny Pops fall. I think this is candy karma happening right now. I knew I was gonna wake up feeling like shit. Ask and you shall receive. I think the heat is the worst part about all this. I can handle cleaning my van, but it's nine in the morning and it's already 90 degrees outside. I just don't wanna do it. Now, most of my van life friends are over in California, Portland, but I have to be in Montana because I have a gig the next um, five days, but there's a heat wave happening right now. So it's getting up past hundred degrees everywhere. And I'm like, I'm running on very little sleep. I'm fresh out of and I just don't want to today. I need a spa day. A spa day with consistent air conditioning. Can we hook that up? A beautiful bronzed guy named Sven to rub my feet. A tan Tarzan named Mario to give me a facial. Cucumbers on the eyeballs and everything. Not that kind of facial. Don't be disgusting. It's 10 a.m. Too early to be that disgusting. Thank you. It's so fucking hot in here. Opening the doors doesn't help. It's hotter outside. Okay, what were we doing? Oh, right. We are fixing our suicidal shelf. Perfect. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. I only have one nail left. Let's use that one to point at things today. That is the culprit. 
everything shaky shaky this just got worn down oh this one popped out too okay so we're missing both of them this is making more sense now where did i put those little thingies i have misplaced them christ i am so over this this morning where in the oh they're right here are you gonna stay in there you gonna be a good little kid there we go okay we have our shelf back the same thing happened to this one but it's like resting on this so i don't know if it matters it's actually kind of helping this stay wedged in here but check it i put some heavy stuff in here now the bottom's falling out of it and i can't even open it so that's fun i guess we don't need all the pasta sauces oh i just organized this too so sick of van life so sick of it okay now we're ready to go to glacier almost but what do I do with you? Maybe I eat you tonight. Guess we're having pasta for dinner. All the rest of our groceries got up to 90 degrees last night, so blessing in disguise. Okay, we are back to good. Clean enough, let's go. Pretty sure Pulse in Montana's trying to murder my van. The roads here are god awful. I think I know why like everything shifted. I've been driving around here the last couple days, but my curtain rod just fell down. Something else just slammed back there. I think it was my ladder probably. But well, first, let's go to the gym and get a little workout. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna sweat liquid hot tamales during this gym session. I'm not mad about it. Get out of my body, hot tamales. Get out. All right, so I'm gonna go try out this gym. It's right next to the coffee shop. I came here a couple weeks ago and it's like $8 for a day pass. So we're gonna do it. I think you're supposed to pay cash though. I don't have $8 of cash. Well, we'll go in here and we'll see if we can't work out. After we sweat out our liquid tamales, we're gonna go drink bougie coffee until we shit liquid Whoppers. We went too hard on the Whoppers last night. Way too hard. Extra large coffee, all the Whoppers out of our system. There's too many Whoppers in our system. We Whoppered way too hard last night. No, feel good. Okay. Let's go work out. Oh, my, my fridge has turned off for absolutely no reason, except for the pulse and Mr. Toad wild ride. Damn. So I'm just gonna put this on my desk so I can just open up the door and grab it to go shower. Okay, and then my towel goes there. And then you need a pair of undies. These are the things we need. Oh, and my sandals, which are down there because I wear them in the shower because we don't want that nasty foot funk. Nobody likes nasty foot funk. Actually, I'm not washing my hair, so we don't need that. I don't know why I got the Costco size thing. Like all my shower stuff used to fit in the this one little thing but now I was just gonna gift this to someone but it smells so delightful so I'm just gonna use that up and then I'll get a shorter one next time because it does not fit in my little my little space so that's how I shower in a van I'm gonna wear my planet fitness shirt into another gym mainly because I don't have to wear a bra with this shirt we're not doing anything bouncy we're doing elliptical or we're doing stair climber we're sweating it out today liquid buttered popcorn gonna be dripping down my face today Got my shoes. This is an ordeal. But we won't be showered. We want to be fresh for Glacier National Park today. So all I can say about my nails right now is hashtag van life. Are you seeing this right now? Are you even seeing this? It's so sad. These are so cute, but they just like pop off. I cannot van life and manicure. So fresh and so clean, clean. Holy shit. I brought one pair of overalls. They fit a little bit better pre-hot tamales and Whoppers night. Not gonna lie. You guys, I've been eating like shit. I'm eating like shit and feeling like shit about how much I've been eating like shit, which makes me eat more like shit. Speaking of eating, I wonder if these are still edible. August 15th, we're good on the expiration. I guess we'll open it up and find out later, but I think I'm just gonna eat the food I've got. I spent a lot of coin getting these groceries. They may or may not be spoilt. Smells okay. We ain't crying over spoilt milk. Long time. My new dumb blonde girl phrase is, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to apologize for dot, dot, dot. Do you guys get it? Do you get it? Starting the trend right here, right now. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to apologize for drinking hot tea at 2.45 in the afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to apologize for it. It's crazy the stupid things I come up with on the elliptical machine. By the way, what the hell was that machine? What was it? 
I felt so awkward doing it, but it hit my buns in all the right places. My booty's gonna be popping. Anyways, are we gonna actually cook something tonight? I've got lots of pasta, we'll see. Just stopping for a little, little diesel fuel. Big thank you to Libby Ackley and Stacy Biano for today's tank of gas. I appreciate you gals helping me get up to Glacier National Park. Very excited about this, so. I got my beverage station on lock. I got my GoPro charged. Got a good attitude. I sweat all the candy out of my system. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, I may have to change my outfit. They're suffocating me. I had to unzip the zipper. I have a food baby and I haven't even eaten yet today. That is how hard we movie nighted last night. All right, let's go pick some cherries. Oh, farts. I think the road is closed because of the fire. I just wanna go pick cherries and huckleberries, Montana. Hello. I'm trying to get to um, Glacier. Okay, so you're gonna have to turn around and you're gonna have to take 93 West. 93 West, uh -huh. okay. And then your GPS should kind of re-navigate okay. you. Okay, all right, Sorry. awesome, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, queso sounds good. I think we need to go get queso now. Queso, we are being rerouted. What did you say, 93 West? I don't know what that means, but. Oh, cherries are right here. I want to pick cherries though. So we're getting rerouted, oh my God. These pants are so tight. Oh. Yeah, we're getting rerouted, so we're gonna go, I don't know, I'm just gonna drive till my GPS reroutes me, apparently. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so it's looking like we're gonna have to skip cherry picking, so we have to go all the way around the lake and come back. So we're just gonna go straight up to Glacier. Quick pit stop. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat some spoiled yogurt and granola. But check this out. What the heck? Someone just got goats in their backyard. We are officially in Montana, folks. Mmm, moldy blueberries. That sounds fantastic. Dang it. I'm not 1000% sure about this yogurt. Not so sure about it. Okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a go. cherry hucks. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, look at these little bears right here. <laughs> That's cute. Almost forgot to button my pants back up. We're gonna go get some huckleberries. Hi, how you doing? Oh, are these on the house? No, two right there, are you? All right, well thank you. I think I wanna do some rainy Okay, those are 12 and 24. Well, it's cash only. And he said there's an ATM over there somewhere that sometimes works. But that little thing of cherries was 12 bucks. I have like $8 of quarters in here from when I did laundry. We're gonna just go ahead and keep cruising on down the road. We're about eight minutes out of Glacier, so let's go. I kinda wanna go cherry picking tomorrow, so maybe this is just kind of a blessing in disguise. I should have been like, but I'm from Montana, so can you give me the... Montana cherry prices, cause that was about triple what I paid for cherries when, where was I coming back from? Oh, in Washington state. It's not a no on our cherry adventure, it's just a pause. I wanna pick them too, I think that's half the fun. We'll continue our cherry journey tomorrow. If you made it this far in the video, write liquid tamales down in the description. And next time on Girl vs. Van, hallelujah and amen, we make it to Glacier National Park and may or may not see a couple bears. Bucket list check. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. It really helps me and my channel, so thank you so much. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love to share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.